Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Claydesk. My name is Syed and today I'm going to talk about what is digital trust and how do we actually create it. This is something that's um, forthcoming, very, very trending. So I want to make sure that you guys are up to date on the concept of digital trust and how to create it. And I'm going to do this, of course, in two, two, three to four minutes, not long. So make sure you watch till the end so you understand this concept as you're in the tech industry. This is important. So let's dive right in. Digital trust is the individual's expectation that digital technologies that we use every day and services and the organization that provide those services, right, will protect all stakeholders' interest and uphold the societal expectations and values, right? No, no, it's a mouthful, but this is really what digital trust is really ensuring that all the technologies out there are aligned with the stakeholders' interest, right? And of course, also ensuring that nothing harms the society at large that we are we're in the tech industry right but how do we actually earn digital trust now before i answer that specific question digital trust framework has two things right goals and then dimensions so the digital trust framework this is by the world economic forum and i'm going to link to the pdf document if you need to read more is basically defined as shared goals and values that inform the concept of digital trust, which includes security, of course, reliability, you have accountability and oversight, and then you have, of course, ethical responsibilities as well. Now, on the other spectrum, the dimensions, um, the digital framework also defines the dimensions against which the trustworthiness of all the digital technologies that we use can be operationalized and evaluated. So, for example, Cybersecurity, you have safety, you have transparency, you have auditability, you have fairness, you have privacy, and so on, right? So these are the, the two areas, goals, and dimensions of the digital trust framework. All right, perfect. Let's dive in. How do we actually create it, right? How do we actually go about doing it? So I'm just going to give you the technical considerations for building trust online, right? That's the key here. So you, you take focus on that, right? So trust in the digital is, is not simply between two parties, right? They're basically connected devices, algorithms, you have data collections, you have you know third parties, you have cross-border transactions, you have international uh, e-commerce uh, scenarios, right? So there, there are many, many things involved, but how do we actually create and build trust, right? Digital trust. So I'm gonna give you a rundown. So the World Economic Forum report um, kind of detailed out all of these, right? But the highlighted points are that, for example, uh, beyond identity verification, organizations can build trust in multiple ways, right? Now, those ways are, of course, through data audits, right? Know the information is collected and how to use it, share it, and delete it, right? That's the first part. Second is data lifecycle management, where you create a strategic plan around handling data. And, of course, next is the security expertise. So you have to have the staff or certified individuals uh, to ensure or, or have the outside expertise to analyze, deploy, and adjust these trust programs. And then, of course, ongoing education learning is key because tech industry is constantly, constantly evolving and growing, right? Very, very rapidly. So you need to make sure that you're learning um, at the right pace. And, of course, we at, here at claydesk.com, hey, check out all the courses, and most of them are free anyways, or right here on YouTube as well. You can check those out. All right, so outgoing education, I talked about that. Control systems is next. So installing automation rules and transparency models to ensure proper access and use. So if you're using, let's say, um, you know, software development or using the SDLC concept or pipelines or, or into DevOps, you need to make sure that everything is automated and transparent, right? So everyone is in the loop and they understand what's going on. And of course, we have customer due diligence and finally the ongoing monitoring where you implement procedures to spot suspicious activity and make sure you're constantly on the lookout. So there you go. This is how you would actually create a uh, digital trust when you're working in the tech industry. I hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any comments. Comment down below. My name is Syed. Thank you. And I'll see you next time.